continue on I-10. It's kind of like when you're at the grocery store and you are like, okay, which line do I get in? Which one's <laughs> going to be fastest? Which one looks like there's going to be slow pokes in it? I usually pick wrong. Chad usually picks right. But... You know, what's, what's, really, what's really frustrating though is when you get somebody who pulls their, their rig forward and then they go in for like shower and lunch and... Yeah, but they're not supposed to do that. They're not, but they do. <laughs> now it's like all these spots around us are all moving forward, but these two are not. Yeah, if either of these free up, I could probably get in either. I one. mean, we haven't really been waiting that long. It's just uh... It's been like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, I'm anxious. I want to get to Lake Havasu. I like going to new places. Is there anybody in front of this guy over here? Yes. Go An see. accident was reported on I-10. You are on the fastest route. We're on the fastest route. We're going uh, to some place for lunch that we've heard tons about just because it's a big area for our viewers, but we've never been there. Continue on Arizona 95. One and a quarter miles, turn right on Arizona 95. Turn right at the traffic light. This is quite the RV area. There's already some BLM out there. The place we were looking at. Okay, well, we're going this way anyhow, right? Yeah. Okay. We have arrived at our lunch destination. We turned up the heat. <laughs> it got hot. That's as far as I get the nose up, I think. We can put both slides out here because. Yay! Why not? Just having a little stand-up lunch. Because we don't feel like getting the chairs and stuff out, but able to put both slides out here, which is nice. So there's lots of room. Buckskin Mountain State Park. Huh. There you go. at the traffic light, then take the first right. Turn right at the traffic light, then take the okay. first right. Turn right on McCulloch Boulevard North. Man, all these right turns. I guess getting out of here would be better. Yeah. <laughs> on my way, yippee Turn left on Maui Drive, then take the first right. Howdy. Hey. Good, how are you? Good. We're checking in? Yeah. Oh. Chad? Yep. 144 premium back in. Have you guys been here before? No. Oh, no. well, welcome. Thank you. Thanks. There's no back in the bike up here, though. No, no, I'll have to get it out here. Yeah. Let's sit right here. We're yeah. not going to, are we going to fit between the electrical and the cement pad? Uh, width wise? I don't know. I can go ahead and get the bike out and park it over on this side over there. Okay.
Have I passed you yet? You passed me, yes. And you can keep trying, but it doesn't appear that you started cutting it soon enough. So you, keep, you keep coming, it might be okay. Nah, uh, I'm already pretty far out over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut sooner. Right now, you're at your, we're about to straddle the cement pad. Am I way too far right? Oh yeah, right now the, the uh, passenger tires are all three on the cement pad. So you have to cut it, you have to cut it significantly to the driver's side. Yeah, doing better, doing better. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look real quick. I was gonna say if you keep wiggling it back and forth, you should be you should get in there fine. Yeah, yeah, I think we're on a good track. Okay, yeah, I do too. Can you see the driver's side, the hookups and stuff? Because I'm watching over here. No, but we have lots of clearance over there. I'm coming back a few feet, then I'll go forward. Okay, okay. Cool. The tires are off of the cement pad now. Back end is at the slope, but the tires are fine. Keep going. I'll probably go further past this right now. Clear. The heck? C-130 just blasted right over us here. Yeah, he's just flying like a madman. That is awesome. So as you can see, we can walk right down sort of. out of the back of our RV here. Sketch, but... And go down here and there's a little path that kind of goes both ways around the park. It's a pretty big park. That's more of the park. Oh, the oh, the, on the ground? That looks like shuffleboard. Oh, that does look like shuffleboard. They do have pickleball too. They had a bunch of stuff here. Yes, lots of activities. Yeah. Today's a work day, but we're taking a little walk while it's still walkable because it's going to be in the 90s. It's today. April, what, 10th? April 10th, it's going to be 90. Yeah. Yeah. But then it's gorgeous out. A couple of 90 degree days, and then it's going to be in the upper 70s, low 80s. So it'll be perfect. So it's a good day to have as a work day. They've got slips over there. It's pretty tight. Yeah. Oh. Kayaks you can rent. So I guess we can come right down and put our kayak in right here. Mm -hmm. We have boat ramps right here. Most of the sites here are like double wide so people can have their RVs or uh, park models or whatever and like a, a boat or two. Some people have boats and jet skis and golf carts. Oh my. Oh my. Fish cleaning station over here. Oh, oh boy, look out. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> That's so awesome. They live for this. That's so it looks like anybody can use this down here. You should bring a dinner. Hmm. How cool is that? Yeah, that is nice.
finished up getting the video stuff done and working and stuff. And so... Yeah, we've been here for two days. I haven't left the RV park. Well, I went to uh, get a blood draw. Mm. I went to get a haircut. Nothing's wrong. It's just <laughs> it's just a, a regular checkup and blood work. You know, um, got to do those things. There is a restaurant within walking distance from the campground where we're staying, but it looks like a higher end, pricier, more like a fancier date night kind of thing. Fifty dollars steak kind of Fifty dollars steak kind of place, <laughs> which we probably will want to check out at some point while we're here. But we felt like going a lot more casual than that tonight. So about a mile down the road at this, what is it, Nautical Resort? Nautical Resort called the Turtle. Turtle Grill. Yeah. I think it's called the Turtle Grill. And I, I'm assuming that it's open to the public. We're about to go find out. But it looks a little bit more cash. And that's our jam. It's definitely walkable if it weren't a billion degrees outside. It's 98. <laughs> and it's April the 10th, 11th. April 11th, 98 degrees. But it's going to be cooler in the next few days. So that's awesome. So we're good to go. Yeah. Ready? We have a pretty nice view for our dinner here. Pay no attention to the construction over there. Just pretend it's not there. Look past it. Look at that. We already started eating, so yeah, honestly. Right. We always do that. Always forget. So we're going to go to a town called Oakman, Arizona. I've seen it before several times, but this is the little old, tiny western town with all the little burrows, little donkeys, little... It's a burrows. Burrows running around. Descendants of mine worker burrows. We're going to go to the West Scenic Route there so mm -hmm. that we can get the stretch of Route 66, known as the Sidewinder, that has 161, I think, twists and turns, what does it say? It's called Sidewinder? It's called Sidewinder. I like that. I like the Sidewinder. It's like a dragon, a, Sidewinder, good names, good names. Yeah, Sidewinder, and I think in that small stretch, it's got 161 or something like that, curves or something like that, yeah. a lot. That's basically taking 40, I think, up and around, yeah, like can, through Yuma. Yeah, taking 40 up most of the way. And then and then we're going to come back down through Oakman yeah. and see the jackasses. Love the It's 77 and I gotta put a hoodie on because it is chilly. It's chilly, it's chilly going 65. <laughs> yeah, and when the sun uh, dips behind clouds, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. We just got off the uh, interstate onto Oatman Road or Oatman or something. Turning the cameras on. So we're turning the cameras on.
pretty cool to get up here, huh? Now this is a, a fun road. This road is not in great condition, so it's not like I can just yeah take the curves kind of quick. You gotta really walk. There's no real grab, that gravel, but it's it's a rough, it's a rough surface. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah, this just goes into Oatman, yeah. so we'll yeah. just follow it. Okay. <laughs> Buddy, what you got there? Oh, it's Diego and Annabelle. Diego, hi, Diego. This is Annabelle, right? Yeah, Annabelle. This is her son, Diego. What's going on, buddy? He's only a year old, pretty big for a one year old.
It was a fun ride. It wasn't a great road. It was a cool town, mm. cool donkeys, Jack beautiful is. views. Yeah. And once we got onto the sidewinder part, that was cool. You couldn't sidewind it too fast because of the condition of the road, but it was a good ride. Yeah, it was really good. And then Oatman, we didn't we didn't really hang out there for very long, but the food was good. Our server Andy was really sweet. She was great. And the donkeys were Annabelle and Diego. <laughs> yeah. Diego is the baby. I didn't know that donkeys have a, a one year gestation period. They're pregnant for a year. Yeah, so she just had Diego in May, so she's been preggers basically ever yeah. since. She's knocked up again. She's knocked up again. It's time to go get the dog.